Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome and welcome back to our February Color Along Part 2. Now, you may be looking at my page going, oh my gosh, she didn't finish her homework again. No, I did, but I changed my mind and I think I'm going to make these little um, accent parts instead of brown. I'm going to do them like a metallic brown. So, I did my homework. I promise I did. So, today I'm going to show you how to do the flowers and the cat. So, we're going to start with vermilion. And we're still using our um, Spotlight Supply of the Month, which is the Holbein's. So, this is vermilion. And I am just going to go in, do a base. Just a light base, it doesn't have to be perfect. I hope everyone is doing okay. Um, I just finished recording the Patreon color along. I just finished the part two for that one. So, the Patreon videos are going up alongside the YouTube Color Along videos. So, if you want an extra Color Along, then go ahead and, you know, be a part of the Patreon if you have the extra cash. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, it's just an extra Color Along video, an extra Color Palette Challenge video. Depending on, of course, which tier you sign up to. Also, for the month, since we have the Spotlight Supply Challenge going on, um, you also get a free swatch chart of the whole binds if you sign up to my Patreon. And you will also, depending on which tier, get my color combos for my whole binds the ones I have so far um, <clears throat> but anywho how is everyone doing I don't know why my phone does this now where I try to um, color and then it like blurs out and it kind of looks in on my hand instead of you know where I'm coloring and it's so irritating so I have to like keep looking to make sure that it doesn't do that. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Even if it is just, you know, me going and basing all the flowers like I'm doing now. So I don't know what, what does it, why it goes out of focus like that. And it's not that it's going out of focus, it's just focusing on something else. Like, it'll focus on my hand, even though, you know, my hand is moving. But I mean, the pencil's moving too, but the page isn't. So I feel like that's what it should be focusing on, but it's not. I don't know. And it only does it sometimes. So I guess that's better than doing it all the time. So once we have all of these, and I'm just... You don't need a heavy hand for this because this is a very rich color. So once you, you know, you can hold the pencil far back and just put it down and the color will still be rich. So you don't need a lot of pressure here. Boom. We have all the flowers. And then there's like some, some little petals that are falling too. So you can color those red or you can color those as leaves. I'm going to color them red because I like to think that the petals are falling off the flowers. There's one down here. And then there's one more over here. Let's see, are there any more? Not on this side. Okay. So we're going to focus on this side and of course you guys know how I do it. I'm going to give you homework. So we're going to focus on this side. So our next color is going to be Scarlet. And I'm going from the inside out. Okay. 
I went with red for the flowers because I want them to like pop. So, hopefully this is um, going to stand out enough. I think it's already standing out because it, you know, it's going very well against the yellow of the building. So, I think what I'm going to do, since I'm not going to be sharing all of my combos with the YouTube channel, at the end of this color along, I think I'm going, that's when I'm going to add the combo video for you guys. And I'll probably just share like one or two from each color set that I have. And then you guys can apply those combos with your whole lines. And you now will have, you know, some combos to go with. You can write them down in your journal. Um, you can download. I have a combo chart. You can download that and put it on there. Because I'll be doing a video to show you guys how I build my swatching folder and combo folder. It's all in the same folder, but I'll show you guys how I'm building it and then all the downloads will be available and you all can do the same thing. Okay. Now we have, I'm gonna put a little bit here. And you see how those flowers are starting to pop already? Wait till we add that last color. It's gonna be so cute. And notice right now, I'm just kind of placing them where I want the color to be. Hopefully I can get this video up today also lately with YouTube, my videos have been uploading fairly slowly. And instead of, you know, them going up the day I record them, they decide to want to show up two and three days later. So I'm not sure what that's about. I've tried, um, you know, stopping the download and redoing it. Sometimes it'll just sit at 1% and it is driving me a little crazy, but you know it'll it'll be up hopefully by tomorrow i think i'm i'm recording it early enough in the day for it to you know kind of have all day to download i hope notice the big i hope because i just wish that um there was a way you can kind of i don't want to say speed it up i guess i don't know i feel like YouTube should do something about that because I'm not I'm sure I'm, I've, I've heard before people having issues with uploading their videos and sometimes um, it'll crash and they'll lose all their progress and I would really hate for that to happen when I'm trying to show you guys a color along because then I won't be able to do the color along because it'll already be colored and then I'll have lost the progress so Here's hoping that that does not happen and that we have a speedy upload this week or uploads because I have multiple things that I need to upload. So if I can get them recorded, I already have the Patreon video recorded. I just need to um, upload that. And then once I finish with this one, I have to upload this one. So we'll see how that goes <coughs> <coughs> excuse me let me get a drink i still have this annoying cough that pops up every now and then and this one today has been particularly annoying so <coughs> excuse the random coughs please okay next we're coming in with carmine and this one's a nice dark red 
and I'm just putting this in the center. Now, if you want, you can actually, if you didn't scribble it the way I did, you can actually leave the flowers the way they are. But I want mine to be a nice vibrant red, so I'm going to come back in with that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, with that vermilion, and I'm going to go over the flowers. But for now, I'm just adding this dark. mine just near the end of the sideways flowers and then the ones that are facing us is just right near the inside of the flower that's where I'm adding this so I'm I haven't even um, thought about what I'm gonna be coloring with you guys next month I, I kind of want it to be in a Kirby book because someone was asking about um, how to to do the shadows and things in Kirby's books, but I know that color along is going to be very long, so it might be kind of a, I don't know, I might have to do two pages. I mean, not two pages, Lord, no. Um, two videos a week and per weekend just to get it all done in a month or I can pick one that's not so detailed but I mean it's Kirby so they're all detailed or I can what I can do is um, if you guys don't mind I can figure out how to do the kind of like the speed video but I know you guys like when I talk so that might not be an option. I'm thinking of just um, doing two videos per weekend and also probably um, making the videos, I mean, they're already long. Well, sometimes it depends on the page, but sometimes they are kind of long already. And I don't want to make it too long and then end up frying YouTube because YouTube isn't being very friendly with the long videos right now. But I, I am thinking of doing it in one of my Kirby books. I also don't know which Kirby book. I was thinking of um, Mythic World. Probably do one in there with you guys. Um, but those are like super detailed. And... I was also thinking, okay, well, I haven't done anything in Phantomorphia, so I might do one in there or Fragile World. So I'll probably just let you guys choose the book and then I can choose the page from there or pages and then let you guys vote on the page like I always do because sometimes there are pages of his well usually more often than not and I, I like to really like really work on his page so if you guys don't mind it spanning over in like the span of more than one month or if it like kind of moves over into like April then I can do more parts we can still do one video a month I mean not a month Jesus one video uh per weekend or we can just make it longer, span it longer. Okay, so boom, there's that. So we're gonna grab Vermilion again, which is our first color. And then we're just gonna go over it. And this is kind of like an orangey red, so it should pop. Yeah, look at that pop. Bring it closer, look at that. Or not, because my camera doesn't wanna focus. Of course, camera, good job. Okay, so we're just going over all of these so yeah so that was that's kind of what I'm thinking for for March um, that way at the same time of doing the color along I can kind of show you um, I don't remember who it was who asked but I can show you how to how I not necessarily how to because everybody does it different but 
even I do it, I don't do it the same all the time. Sometimes I'll go against what he has for shading. Sometimes I'll follow it. So it just depends. But I can show you how I do it at the same time, knocking out our monthly color along. So these flowers, this part was pretty easy because you don't have to keep going over a bunch of layers. Once you have all three colors down and then you put that um, carmine, then you can just go over the flowers. And naturally, I do have a second option for you guys. Did I cross out the line there? Look at that. I do have a second option for you guys. Um, I'm scared to erase red because that's okay. It'll be fine because I, I might do a dark background, so it's okay. Um, so what was I saying before I noticed that? Totally forgot, and that is the story of my life lately. I forget everything. <laughs> I can be mid-conversation and forget what I was saying. I don't even remember. But it's okay. It'll come back to me. And if it doesn't, one of you will remind me what I was talking about. And then I can just tell you in the next video. But anyway, let me know down in the comments uh, how you guys want to do this next color along. Because I like to kind of at least start thinking about it before it's like last minute. I don't like to do last minute things if I can help it. So let me know if you want a longer color along, if you want more parts, if you want it with music. And then I can kind of get a grasp of what, you know, I'll try to roll with the masses if I can. I won't be able to please everybody. I, obviously, I can't talk in do music and have more parts and have longer like I can't do it all so just have to kind of figure out which one you guys want and then let me know down in the comments meanwhile I'll be trying to figure out what page and which book I'm really leaning towards um, mythic world because I want to work more in that but if I choose that one then we're gonna have to either do more parts or make longer videos or it's gonna have to span in the in the you know or it's gonna go over into the next month and i know you guys are fans of saying i'll just do whatever you like but if you leave it to me i'll be trying to figure it out for like ever so when i ask you guys i do genuinely want to know what it is you you would like Otherwise, if I choose something and I'm and I'm doing it and you guys don't like it or if it's taking too long or you get bored or anything of that nature, it kind of defeats the purpose for me because I'm trying to share my enjoyment. So I want you guys to enjoy it, too. And if I sense that, you know, I'm going to sharpen my pencil. If I sense that you guys are enjoying it, then I will enjoy it. So. These are some nice bright flowers. I also kind of want to do a color along in one of my Disney Virtual books. You know, the big stained glass window ones. I think that would be a fun color along too. Just grab some markers and just do one part with markers, one part with colored pencils, or something like that. We will see. I tell you, this video better not be testing my patience with this blurriness that it's been trying to do. Okay, so we got all our flowers on this side done. Huh? Now for the leaves, 
I have chosen fur green and bottle green. Just two colors. So we're gonna <clears throat> come in with our bottle green. I'm just gonna base it. And just go over the whole leaf. The little stem of the flower as well. Just gonna go over that. I'm not sure uh, if these are like two different flowers in here, but I just did them all one color because I thought it would look best that way. But I will show you the second um, color combo I have. Not well, yeah, I guess it's a color combo, but the second, you know, option that you can use if you don't want to follow these there's it's still red um the leaves won't change but the colors of the flowers will change slightly because your building is a different color so let me show you that and the cat will be different too so these are the colors that um if you aren't following along with mine and you're doing that that first building with the um your building i think is pink these will the colors are the colors I chose for that. And then here are the colors if you're following along with me on this one. We have the cat, the flowers, and then the leaves is the same for both. Right, so now I'm going to grab fur green and I'm going to put that in here. Just where I want the shadow to be. This fur green is kind of dark, so be kind of careful with how dark you want your leaves and just kind of fade off a little bit. So if there is a book also that you guys have and you want me to do a color along if i have that book um you feel free to make recommendations like hey can you do a color along in this book or you know can you do a color palette challenge on this book feel free to let me know put some there there these smaller spaces i mean these you know, you can use a fine liner if you want. Because it might be a little easier. The whole bunch can get in there, but it's a little hard to. So, coming back in with bottle green. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in. Just like the Patreon page, I also tried to make this one kind of like Valentine's-ish. I like to think the cat is doing some Valentine shopping. Maybe he's going to go get some chocolates for his lady friend cats. And I did miss some, some of these petals down here, so I'm just going to grab Vermilion and go over them really quick. Now, to deal with our cat friend here, he is going to be, if you're following along with me, warm gray three, warm gray six, and sepia, or sepia, mm, however you guys feel free to pronounce that the way you do. And I'm just going to go over him with the warm gray three. The cat's going to be fairly simple too. 
I was thinking of making his bow the same color as these flowers. Um, we will see. So I'm just adding the gray everywhere. I almost had half a mind to make him a chocolate cat, but I changed my mind last minute because then I was like, well, if he's a chocolate cat, then he's not really going shopping for his cat lady friends. So I changed my mind. <laughs> so I'm just going to add some of this here. Just going to bring this up off the side in the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm just going to bring it up just a little. He won't be too dark of a cat, so I'm just bringing it out so that when I come in with that warm gray too, it will uh, blend in together very nicely. And then I'm going to come up the side here. And around his tail. And then I'm going to add some here as well. And I'm just doing small scribbles because when I come back in, it will uh, blend together. So scribbles are okay. Just add some underneath the paw here. And then we're going to put some kind of in the middle here too. Just to show that, uh, you know, there's like a split there and he's not just a one part cat. Even though he kind of looks like it. Doesn't he look like he can pass for like um, a chocolate cat? Really, honestly. <laughs> okay. So we're coming in with sepia now, and I'm gonna sharpen this because I don't want a lot of this color, so I wanna make sure it's like right on the edge. So just, just right along the edge there. And if you are following with the other color, your cat will be slightly lighter than this one. It won't be dark. And you can always mix and match too. Like if you don't want the lighter cat and you want the darker cat, then use the colors that we're using here. It's up to you really. That's kind of why I like providing options because sometimes, you know, someone will be like screaming at the video like, oh my gosh, why are you using that color? You should have went with and because I know, because sometimes I do it, I'd be like, oh, that would have been nice with this color. But, you know, you can't make the person on the video do it. So I try to provide options like, so you guys are like, oh, okay, you know, that does go with that. Or that looks nice with that. You know, you have options. Or if you're like, okay, that doesn't make any sense, Jazz. The other cat would have went better. Then you have the colors for that other cat and you can use those colors. I try to cover my bases. Okay, so now we're gonna go backwards with our warm gray six. We're gonna bring it out just a little bit more. Now that we have the sepia in there, we know where that's gonna be. You can bring this one out just a little bit. Okay. Don't you dare. Mizu's been barking at everything that she thinks is bark-edible. 
if that makes any sense. So if she feels like someone's at the front door, she's barking. If she feels like, you know, the boogeyman is gonna fly by the window, she's gonna bark at whatever she thinks just flew by that window. She's been doing it all day, so. She's just being a curious bug today. All right, so we have now the warm gray three and we're just going in very lightly and blending it all together. And I'm leaving kind of the middle of his face a little light. Hey, excuse you. We're not doing that today. No, ma'am. Sit down. Thank you. Um, the light of his face. I want to leave the middle kind of light. Just so that it doesn't disappear with, the, with all the grays that's going on. So I'll leave some light parts, even here. Just leave some of it light. You can even go in with white if you like, just so that it's not just kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uncolored, I guess. So you can take, I'm going to take Prismacolor White, and you can just kind of go over it where you want the light spots, or you can go over the whole thing, really, it'll all blend together, and where you want that white, it'll still have a little bit of gray, because there's, you know, a little pool from the gray on the sides, but it won't be so harsh, it'll be light, we want him to have a nice, light, cute face. There, there's our cat. So if you like, you can do the bow, the same color as the flowers. That would look cute. Or you can do his cheeks the same color. It's totally up to you. But here's where we are. So um, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add my metallic brown so that it doesn't look like I didn't do my homework. But your homework will be to complete the other side with those flowers and leaves and next week we will work on the presents and these other little smaller elements here but that's what we have look how pretty those flowers are so that's what mine looks like so far and i want to thank you guys as always for joining in and watching and coloring along with me and liking and commenting it helps me very greatly and I do appreciate it and I love engaging with you guys so continue that support if you don't mind and I will see you guys in the next video and the next one might be the last one or it might be one more but it should be the last one because um, theoretically we only have the presents and the cobblestones and this little thing here and these flowers and if you want, you can even make these flowers the same color as these. It's totally up to you. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet. That's why they are still uncolored. But I will see you guys next week or next weekend. And enjoy your Valentine's Day. And I hope you all have a great rest of your evening. And I'll see you next video.